Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 28th June, Bharat Electronics Limited has received order worth Rs 5900 crore for the financial year 2023-24. This order includes the order for two regiments of improved Akash weapon system with upgrades from BDL for a value of Rs 3914 crore. Rupees. The improved Akash weapon system being referred here is Akash Prime. The improvement incorporates high attitude operation, simultaneous engagement of multiple threats over 360 degrees and reduced footprint. The missile is fitted with indigenous RF seeker for improved accuracy. The two regiments of Akash Prime which is being procured is for Indian Army. Akash can track and destroy targets flying at an altitude of 18 km from a range of 30 km. The missile system can be used against a wide range of aerial threats such as fighter jets, cruise missiles, air-to-surface missiles and ballistic missiles. Akash can be deployed on wheeled as well as tracked platforms such as T-72, BMP or Tata Heavy mobility trucks. This makes SAM defense system highly mobile which can be quite effective in protecting tank columns which are setting duck against the ATAGMs launched from drones. In a boxed deployment pattern, Akash Group can defend an area of 62 by 62 km. In linear array configuration, it covers an area of 98 by 44 km. In trapezoidal configuration, it gives the defense to largest area as compared to any other pattern of deployment covering an area of 5,000 square kilometers. Indian Army has four operational regiments of Akash surface to air missile system. Now with two more regiments of Akash Prime, Indian Army will have six regiments of Akash. Army had also deployed Akash air defense system along the line of actual control in Ladakh during the standoff in the year 2020. Indian Air Force operates 13 squadrons of Akash and two more ordered on 9th of July 2021. Each Akash battery consists of four self-propelled launchers, a battery level radar and a command post. Two batteries are deployed as one squadron in Indian Air Force while four batteries form a Akash group in Army configuration. One battery of Akash has four launchers which gives it the capability to engage four targets simultaneously. Each launcher has three missiles which means each battery of Akash missile has a total of 12 missiles in ready to fire condition. Akash uses Rajendra 3D radar as a battery level radar. It is a PASA that is Passive Electronically Scanned Array Radar. The Air Force version of Rajendra radar has a tracking range of 60 km in azimuth and height and can track 64 targets. However, the one used by Army has a range of 100 km and can track 40 targets. The Rajendra radar is so powerful that it can even detect an artillery shell firing which was being tested by Army. This led to the development of Swati weapon locating radar to locate the source of artillery fire. The Group Control Center GCC, acts as a command and control headquarter of the squadron or the group. For early warning, the GCC relies on the 3D Central Acquisition Radar. The 3D CAR automatically track target from a distance of 150 km providing early warning to the system and the operators. It can track 200 targets. The target tracking information is then transferred to GCC which automatically classifies the target type. The GCC then performs multi-radar tracking of up to 200 targets and carries out correlation and data fusion. The target position information is then sent to the battery level radar which is Rajendra 3D radar which uses this information to acquire the target and launch the missile. Akash missile system is powered by ramjet propulsion which can fly at a speed of Mach 2.8 to 3.5. The kill probability of Akash is 88%. However, when two missiles launched at an interval of 5 seconds, its kill probability becomes 98.5%. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind.
we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.